right guys, so to start off this look, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes as always. And today I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Palette, the first one. And first I'm going to go in with the shade Cream on a fluffy angle brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put that down as my brow bone highlight. And after I have that down, I want to add a little bit of the white. So then I go in with the white shade and add a little bit of that to my brow bone highlight as well. Then going in with my Sigma E35 brush, I'm going to go with the shade Mauve. And I'm going to go ahead and put this down as my transition shade going from outer corner to inner corner. Going back in with the same brush, I'm going to take the shade Taupe and I'm going to add this as well into the transition shade just like we did with Mauve. Then for our lid shade, I'm going to go in with the shade Light Bronze on a MAC 242 brush. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put this all over the lid from outer corner to inner corner, as well as going up to our crease. Then for the crease shade, I'm going in with my MAC 217 and I'm going to take the shade Sable. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put this right into the crease. I'm going to start putting this right into the socket and then with the excess product, I'm going to start to blend it upwards. I want this shade to be seen, so I am blending it upwards. I don't want it to be right in the crease. Um, like I said, I just going to start to slowly blend it upwards. Then with that same 217, I'm going to go in with the shade Espresso, and this shade is going to deepen up the crease. So now, this is where I want this shade to mainly go right into the socket of my crease. Like the last color where I was blending it up, I don't want to do that for this one. I just want this color to be right into the socket of the crease. Then going back in with my Sigma E35, I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of that out as always. Then I went ahead and did my winged liner. I used my Inglot Gel Liner in number 77 along with my Sigma E06 brush. I have done a winged liner tutorial for you guys. If you are interested in seeing it, I have it in the description bar below as always. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on both eyes as always. <laughs> as you can see, it is now done. And then we're going to go ahead and apply mascara. I'm using my Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. Any mascara will do. We're going to go ahead and put on false lashes. And today I'm going to be using these Huda Beauty ones. And these are in the style Sasha. And they are so 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 gorgeous so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on I also have a lash tutorial which I have linked down below as well and the lash glue that I use is the duo clear white glue so as you can see they're very they look very fierce in the package but I feel like with them on they're very nice and minimal if that makes sense as you can see both of them on I think they just look really beautiful and I think that being that this eye look is so simple I think that they just go perfect with this eye look so off camera I did my face as always I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I use I used my Smashbox Primer Water to prime my face, and then I went in with this Bobbi Brown Skin Smoothing Perfecting Smoother thing. I don't know what it's called. I'll link it down below, but I absolutely am obsessed with this. For foundation, I went in with my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Stromboli, which I love. Sheer Glow is one of my favorite foundations. For under the eyes, I went in with Warm Coral from the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. This is the medium, so I went in with Coral and Banana right under my eyes. And then for concealer, I actually did this off camera, but I used a Maybelline concealer I'll leave it down below for my cream contour I use this Bobbi Brown foundation stick this is the number seven almond and to blend that out I use my MAC 130 brush and my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzing base to set my under eyes I went in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder as always and to set my contour I use my Kat Von D shade light palette using these two shades right here and then I wanted to go ahead and brighten up the under eyes a little bit so I went in with the yellow shade in the palette for brows I went in with my brow whiz by Anastasia and soft brown and the brow powder in soft brown as well I have a brow routine of course which I will always have linked down below for you guys if you're interested in watching it so now to go ahead and finish up the eyes I was just dancing 
looking a little bit I know crazy I'm gonna go in with my sable um, eyeshadow and I just want to go ahead and add this to the upper lid as you guys know I have hooded eyes so I like to go ahead back after I put my lashes on and I just want to add a little bit more of that color to the upper lid just so that the color will be seen because of the hooded eyes and then after that I'm going in with my pencil brush my E30 by Sigma back in with that same sable shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this on the lower lash line I just wanted to add this just to add a little bit of warmth and then I wanted to add a little bit more definition in the outer corner so after sable is down I went in with espresso from the Lorac Pro palette and I just wanted to go ahead and add that to the outer corners of my eyes For my inner corner highlight, I went in with this Morphe brush and I went in with the shade Nude for the inner corner highlight and as you can see it's a beautiful beautiful shimmer shade. So again putting that in the inner corner and then I went ahead and added a little bit to the brow bone highlight just to add a little bit more of a shimmer so everything all goes together of course. So like I said adding that to the brow bone highlight. For our eyeliner I'm going in with my Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes in Onyx which of course is like my holy grail eyeliner. I think I use it in pretty much every single tutorial that I do. And then for the lower lashes I'm going in with the MAC Giga Black Mascara and I'm going to put a coat of that on the lower lashes. Then for the lips, I went in with my Galactic Lip Plumper because I was going to be putting on a dark red lip for this tutorial, so I wanted to go ahead and add that on top. For highlight, I'm going in with this ColourPop highlighter. This is in the shade Electric Slide, and it is such a beautiful highlight. It's not, it's intense, but it's very, it's like more of like a very soft highlight, if that makes sense. It's an intense color in the sense of you can be seen from outer space, but it's not so intense. Like it gives you just a really beautiful glow. I remember looking in pictures and it just gives such a really nice glow to the skin. It's not too much. It's not over the top. It's just one of my favorites. I'm actually going to go ahead and order some more color pop highlighters because I love them so much. So then for blush, I'm going with my Sigma blush brush and I'm going to take the MAC blush in Harmony and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the cheeks. And then I also want to add a little bit of Max Sun Bask because I love using this blush for whenever I do some kind of a red lip. I feel like this blush really goes with any kind of red lip. So just mixing those two together, I'm going to go ahead and put those on the cheeks. And then for the red lips, I'm gonna be using this combination. I'm using my MAC Lip Liner in Oak. I actually had a dark red lip liner, so I really don't know now watching this why I didn't use my dark red lip, but eh, whatever. So I went in with the lip liner in Oak. And then after I have that down, I'm then gonna go in with the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Heathers, which is one of my favorite, favorite red lipsticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that using my Sigma LO5 brush. And after you have your lipstick on, then the look is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love the simple eyes and the really bold lip. I think it looks really great. I love the way it turned out. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh my gosh, I am a mess today, man.